Okay, so I know my hair is like, but favorites for March, I think. So yeah, room sprays from Bath and Body Works, and I have four of them. Um, my favorite one will have to be the Japanese Cherry Blossom one from their signature collection. And this one's like almost empty, but I really love it. Okay. And then the one I keep by my bed is the Creamy Nutmeg. And this one's like a cozy scent, you know. And then these two, I don't really like them that much. Um, I got this one around Christmas because I thought it was kind of like, you know, Christmassy scent. It's Sweet Pumpkin Cinnamon. And this one's kind of... Kind of too much nutmeg or something. I don't know. And then vanilla coconut. This one smells okay. But they're really strong. You only need like one or two sprays. For your whole room. Okay. And they're retail for $5 each. But you can usually get sales on them. So that's like the thing that I would try to do. Okay. Next is my straightener. And usually I use my GVP one from Sally's, but this month my hair was kind of dry, and um, this one's supposed to like have conditioning plates in it, so I've been using this one all month, and my hair is just like really soft, um, and I think it works really good. It keeps the flyaways away better than like a regular straightener. Okay, then I also use a heat protectant, so you don't have to like say, I use like a leave-in conditioner, a heat protectant, a detangler, and then I blow dry my hair, and then I go to sleep, and then I wake up in the morning, and I spray this in there, it's the Tresemme Smooth No Frizz Ultra Light Shine Spray, and I just spray that in there and um, brush it through, and then I would like let that dry a little bit, and then I strain my hair, and it makes it look so soft and smooth, and nice I was looking at my eye I think like this eye is like annoying me see how pretty this eye is feel like oh yeah oh that's annoying me so bad oh my god okay anyways so yeah I would have to edit that out but I suck at editing so just bear with me on that little moment Okay, I gotta hurry up. Then, I really, I don't like the scent of this in the spray form, but I like it in the lotion. It kind of smells different to me in the lotion form. And I've basically mostly used all that except for like a little bit. I think this was in my past favorites, I'm not sure, but it's the Festive Vanilla Fig from Bath & Body Works. This is supposed to be like a winter scent, but it has kind of like, floralish hints to it so it's still good for spring it's really moisturizing and it's really thick and I like thick moisturizers so this is really good it's almost gone I don't have any more body creams but yeah I loved it while it lasted then my favorite mouthwash this is my second bottle of this and it's the total care one in icy mint and I love it because it's like strong I love strong mouthwashes 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 and it leaves your teeth kind of squeaky clean you know, like when you first brush your teeth it feels like squeaky clean it leaves your teeth like that for a while so i really like that okay next for my favorite razor i was using the um venus embrace one like the purple and green and blue one but that one sucks really bad so i got this shake intuition plus with the like um little moisturizing thing on it and you don't have to use shaving cream, shaving gel, you know, it's just all built in there. So it's really quick and easy. But, um, before I shave, sometimes I do it after, but most of the time before I use this Ole, um, exfoliating ribbon. And I've used, like, that much. If I hadn't had it for, like, that long, I use it, like, every time I shave my legs or just I'm in the shower. And, for, especially when I use my self tanner because it um helps it go into your skin better and it keeps the color for longer so yeah and it's the one with seaweed extract i really like it and it smells really good and it has nice exfoliating things <laughs> beads or whatever okay 
Then my favorite scent is the... I had the big one, but I used it all and it cracked and I poured it into a different bottle and I used it all. So this is just the mini one. It's the Juice Berry Double Mist one. And you just shake it. You know, it goes like that. And it smells like candy, sort of. Like, it's really sweet, but it smells really good. And I got this on sale for a dollar but it's really originally six dollars I think it was like their annual semi sale thing okay and then for foundation okay I use my cream foundation the one of those are my favorites last month with this Sonia Cash blending sponge and to sheer it out I spray some fix plus on the sp fix plus on the sponge Put, dab it in the foundation and put it on my face and it gives you like a really flawless finish and it doesn't make you look cakey and this is like the end of the day so it doesn't make you look cakey and yeah um for my foundation primer I was using the Dr. Feel Good one from Benefit like the full size one but then I got this in a sample and it's the That Gal, that Gal primer from Benefit and I really like it a lot better than the Dr. Feelgood one. It's like a peach color. It smells really good. And I just think it makes my foundation look better than the Dr. Feelgood one. And then for my eyebrows. Okay. You can kind of see the words. But it's Define a Brow from Maybelline, New York. And it's almost empty. Like, yeah. It's like all stuck on the sides. But I really love this. And it's better than just clear mascara. Because the brush is littler. And I just love it. I can't. I haven't found any more. Besides this one. That I've liked. But yeah I really like it. And this one's just in clear. Okay. Now I keep these two things beside my bed. And when I go to sleep. I put hand sanitizer on right before I go to sleep. Then I let that dry. I know it's weird. And it's not like OCD or anything. It's just, I don't know. I just do that. And then after the hand sanitizer dries, I put this Beauty Rush hand cream in Winterberry. And I got this like um, this summer for their sale. Like last summer for their sale. Oh, nine summer, whatever. And I don't have to look like I used that much, but it's like right to there. And it smells really good. It's really moisturizing and it doesn't leave your hands like greasy, you know? So if they have this at your local Victoria's Secret, check it out. And then this is like my favorite moisturizer for your lips. It's Nivea Kiss of Moisture. So first I put this on and then I put on my Carmex and it like keeps your lips moisturized all night. I think it's fast. And then for my setting powder, instead of using my Neutrogena one because my skin's really bad right now and I need like a more heavier coverage. But this is kind of dark for me because I got it in the summer. But what I do since it's kind of dark, I just dab this in like this. Okay. And then I just use this big brush so it doesn't pick up as much on the brush. But it still gives you like some coverage but not as heavy coverage. And this is the... Essence of Beauty Beauty Purse Brush Purse Beauty Brush or something um, Powder Purse Brush Something like that And this is in Studio Fix I love this two together Really good And then my favorite shoes for the month Are these kind of like Semi Gladiator shoes And they have like little bows on them And they tie up And they're like zippers in the back And this is from that company right there and they just have like a little bit of heel that's really cute and then my favorite like accessory thing I got these from Claire's on sale and I like my stunner stunner shade see so, yeah thanks for watching